and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Following on from my last stamping plate swatch review video, I'm going to be sharing another gorgeous Nicole Diary stamping plate in this video. So in this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing Nicole Diary stamping plate L38. You'll see all of my swatches along with two different Manny designs as well. And as always, you can find information on where I purchased from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on and please like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I have my stamper and scraper. The stamper is an old holder with a clear jelly stamper stamper head inside it. I also have six coloured nail tips that I'll be swatching on too. For the first swatch, I'll be using a white coloured nail tip along with a coral berry coloured stamping polish. With the main swatches, I did this design over a dark base, so I wanted to show it over a light base. And I have to say that I like it over both. It works so well, light or dark bases. And you could very easily place this design over any part of the nail, not just straight down the middle. For the next swatch, I'll be using a bright green colored nail tip along with a dark leafy green stamping polish. Any of the small designs like this one, I will remove the excess with my lint roller. This is personally my favorite dark green stamping polish. I use it a lot over a lot of different shades of green and it's absolutely perfect for any leaf design. And I felt it would work really well for this image. And I just love everything about this swatch from the colors to the design. For the next swatch, I'll be using a light pinky lilac colored nail tip along with a berry purple colored stamping polish with this image i did wonder what it would look like if it was placed upside down would it look right or not i really like how this design looks on this swatch it's definitely worth having a play around with placing the designs in different angles and not just how they are on the stamping plate and you'll see this in one of the manis that i have created for this video but I really do like this swatch. For the next swatch, I'll be using a light caramel brown colored nail tip along with a spicy redwood brown stamping polish. This stamping polish is new to me if you saw my recent stamping polish swatch video. And I can honestly say I've been using it a lot for the swatches for these three stamping plate videos that I've created. And it works so well over a lot of different browns and nudes. And this color combo and this leaf design are just perfect together. I'm really getting a autumnal vibe from this swatch. For the next swatch, I'll be using a bright yellow colored nail tip along with a bright red stamping polish that has a hint of orange to it. And this color combo is another one that I love to use a lot. And this swatch would be great for an, another autumnal mani, but it would also work in a lot of other color combos as well. And again, it would be interesting to place it in other ways like upside down or diagonal, but it's another really good swatch. For the next swatch, I'll be using a bright blue colored nail tip along with a shimmery rich dark blue stamping polish. This design really does fill the nail tip. Now the size of the nail tips that I use are a three and a four. These six are definitely threes though, so hopefully that will give you an idea of size of the images on the nails. Also with this design, the flowers and the leaves, you could add some color to them and that would really make them pop. And here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches and manis that I've created from Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L38. Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L38 is a gorgeous leaf, floral and pattern design inspired stamping plate. There is 58 images in total. There is only two full sized images on the bottom alongside some long thinner pattern designs as well. The rest of the plate is filled with mixed sized ranging from the really small to medium size. A lot of the images are created with 
dots and this is a very popular theme for stamping plates i know i have quite a few to be fair and i really like using them which is why i purchased l38 now one of the images i could see a face in that design but i just couldn't work it out until i'd swatched it now i'm not 100 percent sure but i think that's actually a famous actress but like i say not 100 percent sure i don't think i've ever seen an image where it creates a face like that image it will definitely make an interesting mani for sure i don't think i've ever made a face mani like that again i've used some spring and summer color bases for these swatches as i felt that is where this plate would be used the most but i've also added in a couple of darker bases as well just to mix things up a little i do like to use colors closest to the season we're going into i mainly use darker colors in the autumn and winter seasons there is just so many images that i wanted to use it's mad i really did have a hard time trying to figure out what images i wanted to use for the two manis so there is definitely plenty to create and another thing is there's lots of images that would work well together and it would also work well with other dot image plates too now over on my instagram page i've created a lot more pictures than what is in this video and i've done this so you can really have such a closer look at the images and i've also done this for the video swatches as well again so you can have a much closer look this is a little change that i feel is a good change let me know what you think of this now again just like the stamping plate l29 i did scrape in a couple of directions just to get a good coverage over the image you don't want to scrape just up and down sometimes i can get away with just doing one scrape but usually i go from top to bottom and then to go on a clock 10 to 4 and then also sometimes i add in 2 to 7. if the image has straight lines go in the direction of the lines this is definitely a me plate though i love images like this but i do have a lot of other nicole diary stamping plates which aren't just floral and leaf designs i'm just trying to share some spring inspired stamping plates at the moment now i've never done this before but i did think that some of these dot images you could use as a template for small crystal placement i could see that there was definitely 10 plus designs where you could add some small crystals over the top of the stamping it just gives something very different to a mani another thing is filling some of the images in with color especially the flowers there is just so much that you can do with these types of designs and i'm going to create a load of spring manis in a couple of months and this is definitely one of the stamping plates that i want to use now i do turn these sets of manis into youtube short videos so if you don't have instagram then you'll still be able to see them as well i already have autumn halloween and festive manis already here on my youtube shorts if you haven't seen them i do have a playlist with them all in so i do still have plenty of stamping plates to get through and i've just taken delivery of a new stamping polish collection so i'll be using them in a few Future stamping plate review they'll also have their own video as well so stay tuned to my channel there is still so much more to come so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out any of my new videos coming out so I was really happy with how these swatches turned out they were all first time pick up and transfer the small dots can sometimes not always pick up incomplete and this is where getting the scraping right will make the images be complete now usually i like to apply less stamping polish but with these dots i do apply just a little bit more especially if i'm scraping in a few different directions i really want to make sure that i do have enough stamping polish but still not where i'm wasting it i don't want to share it all around the plate for the first money i went with this pretty pastel pink which has a popping neon tone to it a pink color like this works well matte or glossy and i create a lot of different shades of pink manis over the years and this color i simply love i've stamped in my favorite burgundy stamping polish this is a color combo that i love to use red and burgundies work so well over pink base colors and you would have seen this quite a bit here on my channel with manis and swatches this mani would also have worked well with a dark pink stamping polish 
as well. For the stamping I've used two different images which has created a floral and leaf mani with the dots for added effect. I like that one of the images has slightly bigger dots than on the other image. This mani would work pretty much from spring to autumn and it would work also in many many different color combos for the season in which it's created in but this is a gorgeous mani I absolutely love how this looks. For the second mani I went with this gorgeous blue which has a great undertone to it. This is a new gel polish to me and this is the first time I've ever created a mani using it so I'm really excited to be sharing this with you. When I did the swatches for this blue I absolutely loved how it looked matte so that is what I chose for this mani. For the stamping I went with a shimmery deep blue stamping polish and obviously with this being the first mani I didn't know what dark blue to use. But I have to say I absolutely love how this colour combo works. I think I have a couple of others that could have also worked as well. So plenty of swatches to come from this base colour. So for the stamping over three of the nails I went with one of the two large full images. I loved how the swatch of this looked so that's why I used it for this mani. I then on the other two nails went with one of the smaller images and all I've done is on one of the nails I've turned it upside down and I think that it just gives this mani a different look to it. I did try it first in the same as the other one but I wanted something different and I really like how this mani looks. It is so so pretty. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days along with the manis and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below if you do come over and see my posts and you like them please give them a like as well I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Nicole Diary stamping plate L38. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did then please give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it. Comment below I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time happy stamping and bye.